St. Lucia has now recorded a total of 31 confirmed cases of COVID-19. 27 of the confirmed cases have recovered and currently there are four active cases in care at the respiratory hospital. The last three cases have been nationals without a history of travel, which suggests the likelihood of co community spread of COVID-19. Health teams are continuing investigations within the communities of concern along with contact tracing and testing. Chief Medical Officer Dr. Sharon Belmar George says St. Lucia is at a critical stage in the COVID-19 outbreak. Undertaking an effective response on all levels, Dr. Belmar George adds, will determine the island's success in quickly identifying, treating and managing cases and preventing possible complications and deaths. I would like to make a particular appeal to all community leaders, caretakers, political representatives, constituency council heads, heads of community-based organizations, faith-based organizations, sports club, and all persons in positions of leadership and influence within our various communities to add their voice in the request for the adherence of healthy habits within communities to reduce the risk of being exposed to COVID-19. The Ministry of Health and Wellness, we are committed to ensuring our systems are prepared to manage the detection and also to manage the infection. We anticipate and we are preparing for an increase in cases within communities. The CMO is urging public support in protecting the health and safety of the entire nation, particularly the most vulnerable, including elderly and people living with chronic conditions. At this point, to maintain the gains that we have achieved thus far, and also given the increased risk introduced by the new cases and to maintain public health and safety, it is necessary that each and every one of us recognize that we need to be a part of the solution to this health threat. This includes the consistent use of masks in all public places, keeping a safe distance from others, avoiding mass crowd activities and social activities, maintain the infection prevention and control measures, including at home, and workplaces and avoiding contact with others with respiratory signs and symptoms and also seeking immediate care if you develop or have any of those signs and symptoms. The five respiratory clinics remain open for those who may present, present signs and symptoms. Also, the 311 information hotline is available to address COVID-19 related questions and concerns. And the treatment and care for COVID-19 related conditions remains free of charge to the public. 